Guys, finale part one, risk. How are we feeling? How are we feeling? How are we feeling? Personally, okay, so I have just watched Chi Lin and Penal Team. Did I have a good time? Yes. Were they the spiciest episodes ever? No. But I did really enjoy seeing um, Sabine getting akumatized. We got lots of Sabine, love her girl boss. And then we did see four new miraculous holders in action in Penal Team. Spoiler alert. Sorry. I am assuming that you guys are on this journey with me. I do have high expectations for the finale and for this episode. I have no idea what's going to happen. What is the one thing that I want to see? Lila. I would like to see Lila very much in this finale just because we haven't seen her at all in the season. And I'm like, girl, where have you been? What are you doing? Do you have plans? Like in Panel Team, it alluded to a Chloe Lila sort of team up action going on, which I would like, but I would also like to see Felix come back. Even though I know that's not gonna happen because like why why would he come back but i i want to see it because miraculous doesn't care about logic like they just want to give well i don't know what they want to do but they seem to just be giving the people what they want and and not even caring about chronology or a continuity or anything like that which i honestly i like because <laughs> it just gives me something to talk about you know what i mean it it, it brings the spice but anyway I Last two episodes of the season, guys. Let's let's get pumped. Let's 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 just get right into it. <laughs> Why do we need so many superheroes for one supervillain? Shouldn't y'all be getting stronger? Like I know Shadow Moth is getting stronger, but he's not getting so strong to the point where you would need like six people fighting one supervillain. But anyway, anyway, that's a digression. I do like seeing all the superheroes in action, especially Purple Tigress, Luca, among others. <laughs> Can I come with you? Uh-uh. I know, only the Guardian knows the identities of the Miraculous Holders. And Kandoar, despite being the first and most amazing team member of all, is now just a holder like any other. Yep, but you'll always be my favorite. Mm. <laughs> That was a lot to unpack. Let's start. Okay, so first of all, when he said, I hope, uh, can I come with you? I thought we might get like a super spontaneous reveal. I was disappointed yet again. However, I think it would be kind of fun and fresh for him to know the holders of the miraculous especially because he knows a lot of them already i'm pretty sure he knows pigella i'm pretty sure he knows you know what no i don't i don't know which one he's once he knows but i'm pretty sure he knows some of them and she said that he is her favorite which are we forgetting cat walker though like you low-key fell in love with him after five minutes of knowing him that's a digression will lady noir be resolved after this finale probably not because there's just there's so so much going on after Kuroneko, like I, I, ah, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about them. You can go now. The coast is clear. It's been kind of a while since we've seen Rena Furtive. She looks snazzy as ever. Honestly, killing the game. Oh my god! That actually just reminded me. There are so many secrets that have yet to be revealed. Like, Marinette doesn't know that Alia told Nino about the whole Rena Furtive situation. Ladybug doesn't know that Cat Noir knows Carapace and Rena Rouge's identity. Oh, there is a lot happening that I completely forgot about. Okay, I. I'm excited. Are the writers just going to forget about all these secrets that have been building up and are they not even going to be addressed in this finale? That is definitely a possibility. However, I hope that all of these ends tie together somehow in a satisfying way. <laughs> that is my one small request. <gasps> Mademoiselle Ladybug, let's rest. Yes, the dynamic duo. I have failed again, Emily. <laughs> Oh, Gabe, you are so stupid and you're not good at your job and you're a piece of trash. I am not worthy of our love. Oh, oh Gabe, not this angsty little emotional breakdown. I love to see it though. I love to see it. Ladybug never makes a mistake. Gabe, those anger issues are really starting to have consequences, aren't they? That's so unfortunate for you. Oh, that's so unfortunate. I feel so bad. Neither do you. Uh, he has made several mistakes. One would argue tens, uh, hundreds, if not tens of hundreds of, of thousands <laughs> of mistakes. <laughs> You see, I've made at least one mistake. Mm hmm at least one. She never makes mistakes because she never takes any risks. Oh. <laughs> Gabe is on his crazy arc and I kind of love it. He seems very unhinged. Natalie, sweetie, 
I think it's about time that you maybe switch sides. That's the risk that you need to take before you end up low-key passing away. Then without even realizing it, she'll make a mistake. Great. Of course my keys disappear from my bag just when I have to go out. Whoa! Oh, that's kind of cool. I'm not even gonna lie, Gabe, the one cool thing about you. And it's not even like you, it's the miraculous. Wow, you have no redeeming qualities. Risk, I am Shadow Moth. I'm giving you the power to make people forget all about their fears. Forget about their fears? So Lady ba ah, are we gonna get a reveal? No, we're not, no, we're not. Oh my God, but what if we do? Stop, 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 I can't, I can't. Okay, one thing that I feel like I always fail to mention when I'm talking about a reveal is Ladybug's fear of Cat Blanc because it's never really addressed like at the surface. It's it's never brought up in the show and one just kind of assumes that this is the internal conflict that's been going on ever since Cat Blanc happened. So what's Cat Noir's fear? I honestly don't know, but Ladybug has lots of fears. I'm feeling some spice. I'm feeling some... <sighs> Stay calm, everyone. Maybe it's just me, but oh, okay, I'm excited. I'm froggy, yeah. That was kind of a cool scene, I'm not even gonna lie. A little bit creepy? First and foremost, the breakfast for two that my father's been promising me for months. Um. Oh no, not the breakfast for months. Oh, Adrian, honey, uh, you're so sweet and I don't think that breakfast will be happening. You will meet with him, but for a work session. Yeah, exactly, typical, typical Gabriel. Please put on these clothes before joining him in the study. <gasps> oh, look at his schedule. It's so busy. So he has all these things in his schedule, but he's not yet taking any risks. Probably because he has no thoughts, head empty, doesn't really have... He's not... He doesn't want to fight his schedule. So it's interesting to see how risk will affect him, you know? I've had it, Plague. I'm tired of photos and ads. I don't want to be a model for my father's brand anymore. I just want to be a son and be able to have breakfast with him just <laughs> once. I'm going to go talk to him. <laughs> yeah! I need to talk to you. Now's not the time, Adrian. Go change into the clothes you're supposed to be wearing. Uh, oh. Yes, father. Oh, that didn't last long, but it was so good. I love seeing Adrian just get angry at his father. Like, we need this confrontation. And is that Lila I saw in that little couch sofa thing? Interesting. A boy. They search for each other all over the world before finally meeting in Paris. This is even more romantic than the Hollywood film I starred in. Lila, we both know that's not true. I may have to work with you, but I don't have to listen to your lies. <laughs> ah, I love Adrian's sassiness in this episode so far. There will be no pasteboard backdrops, Bob. I want sincerity, I want truth. The shoot will last several months all over the world. Adrian and Lila are leaving this afternoon. Several month trip with Lila? Stop. Don't play with me right now. At the end of the ad, using CG, they will meld together to become the perfume bottle. Two souls, one mind. Oh. First love, the fragrance. Oh, not first love, the fragrance. Um, Gabriel, no, 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 no. Lila, representing truth? Away with Adrian for weeks? Not weeks, girl. I think he said months. I've got to tell him before he leaves. Yes! Oh, Please! God! <laughs> Adrian! Ah, Miss Dupanche! Uh, since you finally stop, decided- Stop! Stop it! No! Do not interrupt this! This has been years in the making. Adrian! I- Oh! Me, <laughs> nobody. That was brutal. If only you knew how sick I am of all of it. The photos, the film shoots, all these people fawning over me who don't even know me. And now I'm expected to just leave my friends and travel to the end of the world for I don't know how long with Lila? No one would understand my complaining. They all think it's amazing what's happening to me. I understand you. Well, you're the only one. Okay, okay, this is good. The reason that I'm not, I can't get too excited is because I know some tomfoolery is gonna happen where this just all, everyone forgets, everything returns back to normal. I don't know, it's the finale though, it's the finale though. Like, can we have some progression and make it stick? Let's continue. I, I, I can't get my hopes up, but at the same time, the hopes are rising. He's my father though, I love him, I know he loves me. It's all so frustrating has there ever been something that you wanted to tell someone but you just couldn't do it as if some kind of invisible force was holding you back all the time oh 
shut up. Okay, but I am loving this transparency with Adrianette. Like, this is something we rarely see. We rarely see actual meaningful interaction between Adrianette. And I am living for this. But I'm gonna miss you all so much. Especially you, Marinette. Mm, he said it with his eyes. He said it with his eyes. Adrian, wait up! Are they trying to get Marinette akumatized? Hmm. You want to stop Adrian from traveling around the world? Adrian, who's never allowed outside his house? Adrian, who's never seen anything his whole life? Uh, okay. Yeah, you guys don't know the full story, but that that is a good point. Like, Adrian doesn't get to go outside of his house. Oh, there's so, this is uh, such a complicated issue, guys. Ooh. Fine. I'll save him without you. Ooh. They're my favorite cousin. Shut up! I didn't expect to see him! I didn't actually expect to see you! <gasps> Shut up! Okay, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god! I didn't expect to see him! Can you please get the Peacock Miraculous Felix? That would make this... <sighs> Remember how we'd pretend to be each other when we were little? Oh, we're gonna do the same thing. Because unlike you, I can say no to your father. Wait! Felix pretends to be Adrian, goes on the trip with Lila. Felix and Lila get together. Mayura and Hawk Moth. Why is everything going as planned for me? Wow! Oh, Excuse me, could you give me a hand with my suitcases? <laughs> oh, shoot! Oh, oh! So is Marinette going to actually confess her love to Felix or what? How is this? Who's getting? Wait, no. Actually, somebody already got akumatized. Marinette's not gonna get akumatized. Oh my god, this is so spicy! <laughs> he looks so awkward as Felix. Hang on, Natalie. Let me help you. Natalie also has the risk thing on her neck. There's no sign that she is falling out of love with Gabriel, but can she switch sides? Can she take that risk? Natalie, I believe in you. You can do this, girl. Please get away from Gabriel, please. I Wait. It. Shadow Moth. Okay, so first of all, good for you, Felix. You are the only one in the show with a brain cell. However, wouldn't Natalie and Gabriel be wearing the Miraculouses? They don't seem to take them off, except for like whenever there's the scene and they're inside of the of this this locker for some reason. Like, why are they in there? I never see Gabriel put them in this locker. He's it's always under his handkerchief thing. So what are these? Are these the actual Miraculouses? I'm confused. <laughs> No. I want to leave something of the aggress behind. I'm trusting you with my wife's ring and my son. Okay, so uh, Loki um, forgot about the whole senti monster theory. Don't think it's actually true at this point based on that scene. But oh my goodness. Okay, I can't even, you know, we're just gonna keep going because I, I, oh my God. I don't want to go on this trip. Adrian, I'm your father and I'm telling you to, to, Oh! Adrian, it's time to go. Uh, um, backtracked like literally a couple seconds ago about the uh, Senti Monster theory? What is happening? The reason why I thought that the theory wasn't true a couple seconds ago was because I was like, okay, maybe the whole thing has been symbolic. Like the ring is symbolic for his relationship to Adrian and um, 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 Emily. Is this ring actually working on Felix or is it... Are Felix and Adrian, what is happening? What, I, oh, oh my God. Kagami? Okay, oh my God. Once again, you let your father decide for you. But my cousin is gonna talk to him and- This just keeps getting better. Who's pulling the strings of your life? Your cousin, your father, me when we were together? It's never you. You're only good at doing what people tell you to do. Oh my god, Kagami pop off queen. Hello? Um, okay. Felix, stop everything. I'm on my way. 
Oh, okay, wait, what is Felix's motive right now? Like, what's he trying to do? I have so many questions that we need to analyze later because I need to get through this because I, I, I just, I, I don't know what's happening right now. It's time to end this game. I'm gonna talk to my father. <gasps> and he doesn't have the ring. And Gabriel doesn't have the ring. So when, 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 when Adrian goes to talk to Gabriel and I... <laughs> Oh, Adrian! oh, oh, that's not Adrian. That's not, Ad that's not, that's not, that's not Adrian. You can't leave. I need you. Why though? Ah, stand up to him. You have to trust yourself enough to take that risk. I don't have the courage. Unlike you, I'm not a superhero. But he is though. <laughs> oh. Your son is safe, sir. Oh. Thank you, Natalie. Bon voyage. What is happening? Oh, wait, okay, so yeah, he did have the miraculous on him, so what was in the safe? It's all over, Tiki. He'll be back, Marinette, he's just going on a voyage. Okay, so is Tiki not concerned knowing Cat Noir's identity? He just left Paris for several months. Tiki, do you have any sort of game plan? Like, what? what is happening, girly? What is happening? I'm ready to risk everything to not lose Adrian. Tiki, spots on! <sighs> Okay, kind of a weird place to end. Oh my god. I have so many thoughts. And I think the problem with Miraculous Ladybug, there are several. There are a lot. However, they just tried to do so much with the season that I feel like we're forgetting a bunch of stuff. For example, Lady Noir. Adrianette, that whole thing. Is it really resolved? Like, what is happening with them? Like, is, like, they tried to resolve Lady Noir and Kuroneko, but, like, I just, I, I didn't like it. Are, is Adrian ever going to find, well, Adrian knew he was replaced because he was his own replacement. He didn't see a problem with that. Luca knows both of their identities. And so he, he played a little bit of a role in Ephemeral, but, like, is anything going to come of that? Kagami was a literal queen, like, yelling at Adrian, telling him everything he needed to hear. Lila and Chloe, like, Lila and Chloe, they seem to be planning something. What were they planning? It, it, like, what, what is, what are they planning? Like, it seemed like they were just trying to make Marinette mad, but, I, you, you, like, why? Adrian is literally controlled by his ring, but Felix is also controlled by the same ring. So are they like the same person? And Natalie, is she going to break away from Gabriel because like, I feel like she really needs to? Are all the secrets going to come out ever again? Like what I was talking about, like with Alia and Rena Furtive and and and, and Adrian knowing uh, Cara Pace and Rena Rouge's identities. Is Adrian actually going to find the basement with his mom? Like is Felix, oh my God, is, Ugh. what are the miraculouses that Felix took from the locker? Like, literally, what are they? Is that part of Gabriel's plan? Like, why would he just have fake replicas of, like, miraculouses in the safe? It doesn't make any sense. Why is Strike Back such a dangerous senti monster? Is that be because people are willing to, uh, like, they're willing to take risks, but what, what is, what is happening? There's too much that needs to happen in this last episode in order for me to feel satisfied. How is this all going to work? Although I didn't actually expect to see Felix in this episode. That is really exciting for me. I did not expect to see him in this episode, and here we are. He was here, and Lila was here, except Lila, I, I feel a little bit unsatisfied in terms of Lila because, like, she hasn't really done any Thing of substance yet. What could happen in this next episode is Marinette telling Adrian her feelings for him. It could be Cat Noir knowing the identities of the Miraculous Holders because that was brought up in the first part of this episode. Will we come back to it again? I don't know. How much of this is everybody going to remember? Because they're all part of the akumatized villain so to speak. Well, they just forget, like, cause you know, they all have like the mark of the froggy frog thing, whatever. So you know how sometimes when, for example, you know the episode repost where everybody becomes knights, nobody remembers what happened. Is that going to happen again? Because everybody's kind of still themselves, but just are willing to take more risks. 
but how much i i feel like everybody's just gonna forget everything like it always happens in miraculous but i i don't i don't know that was a lot to process and i think by far my favorite part was seeing felix because i wanted it to happen but i didn't actually expect to see him so much happened i don't even know what to do with myself i think i'll end by saying what i want to happen what i want to happen is for felix and lila to team up or felix and adrian to team up because they seem like they have a lot in common, both low-key being senti monsters. I want to see Natalie break away from Gabriel, even though I know that's not going to happen. Or I want to see her go into a coma. Like, Natalie needs to change. Like, something needs to change with that. Also, I would like Marinette to confess her feelings to Adrian. And I would like Lady Noir to resolve a little bit more because I it just it's not satisfying to me at the moment. Seeing Adrian and Felix be all angsty and confrontational was the best, and I hope that also continues in the second part of this finale. Honestly, I want to see Luca too. I want to see Luca. And what was the point of him knowing both of their identities? Was it just in ephemeral? Is that the extent of Luca's involvement? Like what? Are we going to do something with him? Like he's my boy. Also Kagami, like the fact that she was in this episode just to yell at Adrian was so iconic, but I also want to see more of her. I'm so glad that I didn't see any spoilers. I think it, it really truly makes the viewing experience for the first time infinitely better. Yeah, anyway, that was, that was a lot for me to process process in this short amount of time. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys had fun on this little journey with me. I'll see you guys all again for the last episode of season four. That's crazy. Also the Owl House, the hiatus is ending. The second part of the second season is coming out in March. Ah! I'll be reacting to those as well. So that's something to look forward to. I hope you guys had a good day. I hope you're having fun. I hope you are doing okay mentally, emotionally, and spiritually because um, it's questionable on my end. Ah, okay. See you guys for the finale. Bye. Ha!